Hi Scorpio, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of January 25th to the 31st, 2021. And I do want to take this moment to, of course, um, remind you to like this video, leave me a comment and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I meditated on your energy overall for the week, of course, and the message that came through was getting away from the noise. I don't blame you, my friend, getting away from the noise. Um, starting to ask myself if I have any Scorpio in my chart. I don't think so, but because it's a very relatable um, topic. But we're going to begin by pulling a couple of messages from the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle deck. Um, and keep in mind, this is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't for somebody else. Um, and something new for these weeklies, we're spicing it up a bit this week and moving forward. I'm um, going to let Spirit choose a song for you on Shuffle to kind of speak upon the week uh, that we're moving into. And for you, the song was Born uh, to the Night by Ava Max. Such a good song. Um, and I'll leave that in the description box below in case you'd rather see it than hear it. But um, the, line that, the lines that stood out to me were, I was born to just face my fears. I was born to just face my fears. And the other line was, um, in the night I survive. It's interesting. Maybe you're trying to get away from the noise, therefore spending more time awake at night, or that's just when you can um, be more one with your own voice. And we'll see. Very interesting. Very interesting. But let's start off for our lovely Scorpions to begin this weekly read for the 25th to the 31st. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. If you could have seen that on the table, they went down and then flopped back. All right. First, we have the gift of neutrality. Balance is at work in your life. Yin and yang are opposites in energy, but reside side by side to create the gift of neutrality. Yeah, it feels like, Scorpio, things have been a little out of whack for you recently, and spirit and the universe coming through to, they've noticed that it's been affecting you. And so um, they're coming through with the sense of neutrality, the sense of peace and um, tranquility, you know? Um, where things will be feeling a bit more balanced, a bit more at ease, a lot less out of whack and stressful. Um, yeah, I just feel like that's something you've needed recently to feel more at ease, to feel less all over the place, right? And I mean, it, it makes sense given the overall message of you trying to get away from all the noise and you giving, being, being given the gift from, or the blessing from uh, the universe and spirit of neutrality. Unexplained wonder. Magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life. All your prayers are answered now. Nice. So yes, Scorpio, it feels like you're stepping into a luckier, uh, more magic-filled chapter of your life. As are a lot of the signs, but um, do expect throughout this week and moving forward more unexplained wonders, uh, more unexplained blessings and gifts from the universe just out of the blue. For a lot of you, I feel like it's simply your good karma coming back to you. Good for you. Let's do some shuffling. We're going to pull seven tarot cards for the week. Uh, one for each of the upcoming days. For Scorpio to continue. Thank you, Spirit. Keep them coming. What else do we have? Okay, we're not going to take these ones. Just bear with me. Okay. Keep them coming for Scorpio. Sorry if any noise in the background. We're going to pull the last two from the top of the deck. All right. Let's see here. Justice at the bottom of the deck. I love it. We are just talking about a sense of balance coming back with the neutrality card. And that's exactly what you're getting. A sense of justice for all the good you've done for always sort of just doing the right thing. Uh, for going through a lot of rough times. It's time for you to get what you deserve. That's a sense of balance, a sense of justice. However, that works out for you. Yay. Good for you, Scorpio. Uh, so we're starting off on Monday with the Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> so you start off the week on Monday feeling like you have a lot of decisions to make or feeling like you are balancing a lot. Um, this is kind of coming through as you juggling, you know, feeling like your life is a bit of a juggling act these days and you just want it to slow down. 
right? You just want things to be a bit easier for more of a sense of peace once again. And it's side by side with this neutrality card. And they're saying you won't feel moving forward like you have to juggle everything, like your life is a juggling act. Things will feel more peaceful, more ease, and you'll get a taste of that this week as you feel the need to, again, escape all of the noise around you, regardless of who or what's causing the noise. As you can hear, noise in the background, a car goes by. Ten of Wands. And so you make your way to Tuesday and it feels, for whatever reason, you feel less burdened. I feel like you truly grasp this, um, or you get a sense of, a taste of that peace, that tranquility that we've been talking about, that neutrality in your life that you've needed. And it leaves you all instantly kind of, I'm seeing you feeling a bit uptight and going, oh. you know, like it was a weight truly lifted off your shoulders simply just to get a taste of things being more peaceful. Or simply between Monday and Tuesday, you get this long moment of just simple silence where you don't feel uh, the chaos. Wow. And it leaves you once again feeling like um, the color in your life is starting to come back. And you maybe knew this deep down, but it was just kind of hard to um, implement it yourself, right? It was just hard to escape the noise. So accept this as a gift from the universe, from spirit. Um, yeah, and we're moving on to Wednesday with the Devil card. And this is coming through as too much overthinking. Now you go from the beginning of the week when things are, you're given a blessing to kind of make things a bit better for you moving forward. Um, so you can enjoy the week a bit more, bring a bit more color back, and you choose to overthink. Now maybe it isn't about this situation, it might have to do going back to some decisions you're making, or how you view or how you think things are going to unravel. And they're saying stop it, because look it. That overthinking, Scorpio, it controls your life at times, don't allow it to. Don't give it so much power. Utilize, especially when you're given these quiet moments, utilize them to meditate, to quiet your own mind, to be one with that, that peace, that neutrality, that silence. Four of Wands. And so I think you overcome it. I want to say you do overcome it on Wednesday and you simplify your mind. Um, maybe you're given another sense of silence. Maybe Spirit allows you to escape that noise once again to kind of feel a little bit better, to like silence your mind. And you feel the need to celebrate. You're feeling a bit more balanced, um, feeling like things will unravel as they should, not really stressing about it as much anymore, which is good. And it feels like your passion for life will start to come back slowly but surely as you make your way through and out of this week. Judgment card. And so you make your way to Friday, <clears throat> excuse me, and it feels like you're letting go of, of a lot of emotions that were built up, a lot of stress, a lot of previous uh, ways of viewing your situation and your life in general. Uh, one of which being you feeling like you're juggling, allowing for yourself to just let that be and accept that things are changing, that you won't need to feel that way as much moving forward. Being side by side with this unexplained wonder, they're saying, as you continue to release your emotions and your ways of being and all the above and work on your habits to improve your life as a whole, you're going to start to see unexplained wonders pop up. And I feel like this is a day where that happens on Friday. I do see Spirit in the Universe coming through and being like, Scorpio, you're blessed. We were watching you, we're protecting you. There's unexplained wonders coming. And so I feel like you may um, find a way to get more in touch with your spirit guides with the universe on this Friday, which is a perfect opportunity for them to kind of um, show you a little bit more of their presence or a little bit more of this unexplained wonder that they uh, want you to be one with moving forward. And then to move right along, we have the uh, Knight of Wands. And I had said your passion's starting to come back. And it originally came from the Four of Wands with the fire up here. But I do feel like when it comes to Saturday or the weekend, you're feeling good, feeling much better, feeling like you're um, you're getting back to you or rediscovering uh, or discovering the new you. The more passionate, fiery, upbeat you that doesn't feel like life has just dragged you along or beaten you down. Being aligned with the Ten of Wands in reverse, they're saying, yep. 
Do you see what, how much we've um, accomplished going just from Tuesday to Saturday to start the weekend? You're feeling amazing. And you have, you can, you can feel this way moving forward as long as you keep asking yourself important questions and implementing changes and doing what you can on your end to escape that noise. Four of Cups. And so you finish up the week on Sunday um, getting an offer that you just are not about in spirit saying, utilize your intuition, trust it, trust that gut feeling. They'll help you out if you look to them. Your spirit guides, I mean. For some of you, this could be a past um, ex coming back in, a friendship from the past coming back, could be a job coming back. Whatever it is for you, you're not all about it. It feels like you're ready to move forward instead of looking back. And spirit says all the power to you. Just um, being aligned with the devil card, be careful not to overthink this um, choice, this decision, this option. Trust the gut feeling, make the decision, move right along to your right future. Because again, you, they don't need this kind of wrapping up the week, if you will. You'll do fine. And then let's finish off this um, weekly read by pulling a couple messages from the Find Your Happy deck for Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, perfect. Let's see what we have. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, every next level of my life will demand a different version of me. Yeah. You're changing, you're growing, you're evolving. So accept that, be one with it. And um, realize that you're stepping into a new, luckier um, filled chapter. Again, full of wonders and, and blessings. So um, don't allow yourself to stop changing. Go with the flow. And that life is a balancing act of holding on and letting go. And I think you're starting to realize that these days as certain people, places, and situations do need to go or be left behind for you to embrace the future, the bright one you have ahead of you. Full of less noise. So Scorpio, I hope this reading was truly helpful. Don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, and just subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.